slumps, something all players are scared of. So today, let's talk about how to keep your performance consistent. One of the most obvious things that you have to do is maintain your physical foundations. You cannot achieve any sort of consistency with the way that your brain and body operate if what they need in order to operate consistently is inconsistent. So just returning down to the basics, um, it's just one of those things where common sense is not always common practice. So you need to recognize those things that are falling behind on you um, and just really address them so that you can start having that baseline that you need to be successful. Oftentimes when we're trying to identify what the baseline for physicality of the sport is, is you kind of look at like what's going wrong. Uh, are your energy levels kind of wonky? Um, are you just getting pain in your arm at the end of the day? Do you have lower back pain, eye strain? These are all things that are pretty common for a gamer that we just assume goes along with what we're doing, but it's really not meant to be there. One of the most common things there is known is that when you are lacking sleep, for instance, you can't necessarily tell that your cognition has lowered because part of your ability to recognize that something is not great has to do with the strength of your brain. For the more mental side of developing consistency, you really need to work on your personal acceptance skills. A lot of times people get hung up on, I have to go into the tournament feeling super confident or I need to be super relaxed, right? But the reality is, is that you can play your best no matter how you're feeling. Feelings are subjective. It's not really who you are or how skillful you are. You can access those skills no matter what state you're in.